and welcome back to SpeedyNet, where we have made a small jump in time as we are now in the 18th of uh, October 1954. Uh, and what have uh, I been doing in that small jump of time? Because of course I didn't just leave the game running, came back and then find out it had saved magically. <laughs> oh no. No, um, what I've been doing is, um, since we last did the track upgrades over here, uh, I've been doing a little bit of balancing. Because, for example, this over here is a whopping 544 <laughs> tons a month producing bauxite mine. Uh, just for reference, you know, uh, over here there isn't much, but if we just take a look at one bauxite train that goes over here, uh, it can only take uh, half of that month production. Now, to be fair, it's probably a little bit less that arrives at the station, but still, 288 tons, it's definitely producing more. And um, yeah, I think that the train isn't here that quickly that it can handle all the production at once so what i've did was i've added yet another train you can see right here now obviously that's a bit of overkill but still you know and that's just one example uh i mean it's not like we have everything at gung ho quadruple production uh, most mines are but not all of them so i've been balancing everything a little bit but you might be wondering, okay, so uh, wh why are we recording right now? Well, why am I <laughs> recording here right now? Uh, and that is because over here, I'm starting to run into traffic issues. Uh, let me just unpause the game. Uh, you, you can clearly see uh, that right now we have more or less some sort of a traffic jam. And in fact, it's actually flowing pretty okay right now. But soon, TM, we will have traffic jams because it kind of comes in waves, I've noticed. And the traffic jams are not over here. Now here, traffic's flowing like I expected it to be. However, oh, and yeah, and also, look at this, <laughs> almost a thousand engineering supplies a month. So yeah, we're definitely, we've, we've kicked the engineering supply uh, production into high gear. So we're definitely on the right tracks here. Oh. <laughs> the pun. <laughs> well, we're definitely on the right track, but I do need to do even more track works. And wow, is, is this what I'm seeing right? Is that we have so many trains coming to this station, this empty station. It is unheard of. Now, um, the main issue that I think we have over here is this station. Uh, if you don't look at the trains that come here for the coal mines, I don't want them by number. Can I have them by group? Uh, by any chance or name for that matter? Sort by? Yeah. So if we take, uh, if we don't look at all those short trains and not at the coal trains, we basically have these trains all coming for this station. Including the, this one. That's a lot of added traffic. And what I think there is the cause over here is that we have a little bit of over usage. As well as on these tracks, you can just see that everything just moves a little bit too slow, if you ask me. There's too much traffic over here. There's too much traffic over here. So what we need to do is we need to upgrade this junction. <laughs> We've just done all the track works. Uh, we need to make this entire stretch toward the station two lane tracks. And once that's done, I also want over here, basically till this junction, I also want it to be two lane. Uh, and from over here, it can of course split off to one lane here. I mean, it's, it's not like this, this stretch has so much traffic, it's the merging of that has the traffic. So yeah, <laughs> we have some track works to do, therefore. Uh, and I guess the only thing we can really do is get started, right? So let's get started. Oh, yeah, and, and, and look at it. I mean, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just right now seeing the necessity for our track works, right? 
Yeah, let's, uh, let's not waste time and let's get building.
I'm not entirely sure if this junctionary bit is uh, done okay. But I'm pretty sure that at least uh, capacity wise we have this uh, a lot better. Now, um, of course, you know, I got caught in the middle of construction here, so I was away for quite a while. I did pause the game, uh, so it didn't run. Uh, and, if it, and if I did forget that, I will edit it out anyway. <laughs> so, but yeah, well, uh, the point I'm trying to make is, um, I it was quite a long phone call, so I'm not quite sure where we are. Into oh, well, I know that all our our metal woes are all gone because that at least is all being transported. Wow. And I think what we're having over here is a little bit of okay. So there's a train there. I'll 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 go cross. Look, and now they will all try to go cross. Uh, that might also be because I might have one crossing too many. Uh, and to be fair, I think this one's all right. This one needs to be there. But if we remove that, there is still this crossing. Yeah, I think this one's a little bit too much. We'll see how it goes. I mean, right, right now they do not try to cross, so they should all just continue on straight. Basically. Yeah, now, now it looks all good. Now, now it doesn't look. Maybe it was just an unfortunate moment. That's that's like the downside of every crossing you add. You have the possibility for that to happen. Anyway, um, I think the uh, because it wasn't 2,000 tons. It's 2,700 tons with an excellent rating. I think that is all due to our uh, much better, higher capacity track works. So. Having said all that and given myself some credits and claim <laughs> where it was due, uh, the, the fruit is all being moved, the bauxite is all being moved, there's only a little bit left there. Wow. Uh, this bauxite is not moved <laughs> and we have two bauxite vehicles, which of course is not enough, so we shall add more. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is all icing on the cake basically because uh, this is, uh, we, we don't need much more in terms of train capacity uh, to get this hauling. So this is really just the icing on the cake. Now, I do wonder, yeah, over here the bauxite is not enough. And you know what I've realized, by the way? For bauxite, the route is okay. Because yeah, this is where the bauxite uh, plant is, or the, uh, the aluminium plant, uh, but we have a, a problem with the engineering supplies because this direction is okay for this station, but this direction where the engineering supplies come from is not okay. Now this is Gung Ho Quadruple and this is just doubled with not enough uh, uh, vehicles and that does have enough vehicles and I, I just keep getting steam engines I mean guys the time of steam is past us we cannot do steam anymore come on you should know this by now All right. so we've added a little bit over here uh, another thing we need to do is add a bauxite train because clearly one doesn't cut it. And that will mean even more metal. With, and this, this is the real bit. I mean, I'm just curious. Uh, we do not have a surplus of engineering supplies, strangely enough, unless you just, no, you didn't take them. Right, that's interesting. Uh, anyway, uh, it has gone up though, so yeah, you know, I, I think we're all uh, in pretty good shape over here. This is all nice and steady and quadrupled, and the same over here, and over there. In fact, I believe that we can safely say that there is uh, even, an, even a surplus for uh, scrap metal. Who would have thought that? I think what we're gonna do 
is just clone the scrap and uh, have an extra one, which will in turn secure even more so than we already have the uh, enhanced production over here. So knowing that, how are we doing over here? Oh yeah, this, this is excellent. This is just a regular, but no surplus. Just doing a quick check, guys. This is the stuff that I've been doing, uh, you know, like before I started recording. So, yeah, no, no bauxite overload. And these, these do have a little bit of bauxite overload. Yeah, nothing too crazy. Right, so it it all looks good. Um, you might wonder. Okay, so what's next then, huh? question what is next I do know for a fact that over here uh, <laughs> the Sunhattan brewery is making quite a lot of booze now I haven't kept track of how much booze uh, it has been accumulating over here each and every time but I do have the suspicion seeing that we have four boats coming in yeah, that, that, this one isn't really carrying that much, but I believe like like this boat, for example, is also not carrying that much. Have we reached fruit equilibrium? Well, anyway, there is like uh, quite a few coming in. I think that this boat uh, just cannot keep up. Um, I think this is the, one of the more easier profits that we can reap if we find ourselves yet another destination. Like for example, do you accept alcohol? Booze. No you don't. Right. <laughs> okay, so you don't. Is there like any other town nearby that does accept booze? I mean, W Winding, Winding Hatton would be a place that accepts booze, but is a little... It's not that far off, to be fair. I guess what we could do is set up another, uh, another boat for Winding Hatton. Perhaps have that deliver some booze. I mean, sure, there has been just... Uh, 250 liters taken, but I believe you. Oh no, it's uh, right now. It is processing. I believe. It doesn't say cargo waiting to be processed, so I guess it it just processed. <laughs> uh, yeah. Anyway, I'm. I, we're, we're gonna get ourselves another speedy ship. You are not needed anymore. And yeah, let's get the. Uh, Sort it on maximum speed here, and then let's see. Uh, how about the other way around? Yeah, the wind jammer. That was what it was called. Get you fitted for alcohol, and let's say what? No, <laughs> I don't know how you magically got all these orders, but I do not want you to have them. So, uh, and I think we would be clever to actually set up like a buoy, like halfway, like here for example. And then you just go towards the, that buoy. Uh, and how about a uh, harbor as well for Wundhattan, huh? <laughs> I mean, this... What does it accept? What? Alcohol, yeah. So, and then you go there, and then you go there. Alright, good. Now, I think that the two ships will actually help. Oh, wow, look, look at how busy it is over here. <laughs> there is these modern mega freighters. Oh, and then there is these ancient uh, five, no, four, four masters, right? <laughs> Uh, the contrast couldn't be any sharper, I guess. Anyway, um, now that we have... Wow, are we gonna see that the train is actually gonna use this track? That seems so. It is that busy over here. 
Now, if these three have all all been, you at least have been, you have been, not you. And that means that you probably do not, you do have engineering supplies, and you have only a few. See, that's kind of the issue that we have. Now, we'll just leave, leave this running, and um, it, we're, we're going to focus our, uh, our energy on something else. Like, over here, the engineering supplies, for example, have pretty much hit equilibrium right now. Uh, they're actually going up a little. Same for the man uh, farm supplies there. So I want to leave this as is and uh, come back to check whether or not everything is uh, running at gung hu quadruple uh, with hopefully a little bit of a surplus in engineering supplies. So what are we going to do then? We are going to open up the map and I shall show thee. Let us see. We have, uh, first of all, let me disable that. Now, this area over here is uh, where we've added this very profitable uh, new network. The new network uh, that is uh, with pretty much all, I believe, all except one bauxite mine we've taken. Uh, we've taken uh, the scrap yard. Just the one. As well as all the fruit plantations so that's pretty good uh, I also know that there are oil wells in the vicinity four to be precise uh, so once we, this has all settled and we know uh, whether or not there is like a little bit of a surplus we're gonna set up oil uh, as well to uh, produce petrol and that ladies and gentlemen is all for uh, uh, let me get this out here for this this is what I want to uh, focus on next because as you can see we have one uh, network two network three network I don't know a little bit of a loose uh, scraps and bo bits and bobs uh, same over here nothing coherent I'm not even sure if we, if we are going to make this coherent as we're kind of not really developing this area. But stuff like this waterway and this over here, I do want to make coherent. I, I want to join that up so that uh, this becomes one big network along with this. So we really have like a solid chunk of passenger service. And then I, I kind of want to do the same with... Uh, Basically, this big passenger network, because this is all connected up with the town growth program, right? So, by the way, how are we doing over here? Just out of curiosity, because we had a traffic jam over here at some point. How's it going right now? Well, the traffic jam at least is uh, certainly fixed. Uh, the amount of passengers, though, is certainly not fixed. <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> Oh, look at this. <laughs> this is crazy. And they all need to go to... Tr whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> wow. Okay, so this is cargo destination gone bonkers. <laughs> yeah. When you have this many destinations to go... Uh, oh my goodness. Trendy Market, where is that even? Is that over it? No, that can't be over there. Trendy Market, I believe. It must be. It's not over there at the Burning Bridge. It's not. It must be like the one of the close. Yeah, it's it's the one over here. Trendy. No. Trendy Market. So they all want to go <laughs> via this station to the other station. And let me guess, you over here have, uh, yeah. So basically the trains between Packingburg and Trend, Trendly Market <laughs> are a bit of a, yeah. But that wasn't really what we were looking at, because we were looking at uh, what we were going to do next. So, you know, having this whole big network is, of course, very nice, you know, and, and I was just having a look at and you can actually see over here as well it's a little bit busy because the lines are like red and yellow 
At least that's how I believe they work. Um, so for example, if we have a look, that means that between these two towns, which, oh wow. Uh, is that, wow. I don't, I don't know, but uh, it's, it seems to me that the uh, towns over here have gone rather big. Look at this. It's, it's not even needing. Town grows every two days? Say what? <laughs> oh my goodness. The town growth program has gone completely bonkers. Look at it. <laughs> There's even town over here. Say what? Oh my. I, I, I left this unchecked, basically. And the towns have gone completely rampant. Look at it. Look at this, guys. The town growth program, I think, just based on Little Prar Town, Deadhead Cross Hardware, uh, or Deadhead Cross, and is it also Catstone? No, Catstone isn't growing. But Deadhead Cross and, uh, well, Little Prar Town, not anymore. They're, they're, they're still growing. Say what? <laughs> I mean, and it's passengers galore. We're gonna balance this at some point, but I first want to make one coherent network and then we're gonna balance things, you know, because things will start shifting anyway over here. Yeah, look at it. It's all of a sudden, now that I've looked at it, all of a sudden the whole thing colored red and red. <laughs> so let, let us have a look over here. I think this is probably the easiest bit. Now, as for our current passenger network, um, everything is just green and white. Tells me that we are sufficient in capacity for all the town stuff that we do. So I basically need to connect up like this town to this, or to this, or to this. Or even maybe to this, I don't know. We'll have to see what is most convenient. So let me have a look. Now we currently only really have the harbor over here, uh, and you cannot grow any further because you require petrol. Now, you all do recall what I just said about petrol, right? <laughs> Alright, good. <laughs> you haven't forgotten, <laughs> that's the most important bit. Um, so how is this easy to connect? There's two ways we can go, or we do something like this. Like, do uh, a separate train, you know, that just uh, hooks up to this passenger network that is not part of the busy freight network over here. Now, I wouldn't mind that. I don't think Sunston would mind either. But if we were to connect it up uh, for petrol, then we still need to connect it up to over here at some point somewhere in the future. Now we need to do that anyway if we want to give it petrol, so in that, in that regard, I mean, I'm not, well, I don't mind it too much. Um, I think actually that that might be the easiest and also the best scalable solution. Do we have like, I okay, don't say, but it would be very easy to just build a station here. And we need it to also connect to this harbor. Uh, what if we were to just build the station here? Because I do believe that yeah, we have stations in the town already. Let us check the coverage before we completely screw ourselves out of the favor of the local authorities. Because you know that that is going to happen. <laughs> yeah, I think what we can do is just add a station here. And then maybe do something with a bit of underground or stuff. But... I think we have a little bit more connecting up of uh, passenger networks to do. So let's start with this one.
Well, what can I say other than <laughs> this is not uh, a piece of track that I'm proud of, but I don't really know how else I would have, uh, would do this other than moving the depot over, but well, you know, I mean, <laughs> it is what it is. Uh, let's, uh, let's keep it at that, you know. Uh, for now though, we do have a train that can go 188 kilometers an hour. And it's not limited by the wagons, though it is kind of limited by the tracks, I see. This curve here is not helping with its maximum speed. I can see that now. <laughs> uh, I do think, though, that uh, the, uh, uh, the other way will be quite helpful. So, yeah, that, that will uh, kick itself into gear. And look, the map is already updated, and we haven't even... Is this... Yeah, look, the map is, is already updated. Now, I do wonder, this almost seems as if it is a single line. Do we have it set up as a single line, too? Let me see what we have over here, because it must be you. Do you have some kind of fancy... Yeah, you do have uh, honored passengers from Freston Docks. Wow, a hundred? So you are basically full. Is that is that what I'm saying? And over here, wow. Rubo. Do you do they have do they have a destination? Because that is the question. Well, it all it all, it all seems to be uh, actually rather okay. So I oh crap. I guess what we're seeing here is just some poor drawing of the map, I guess. There is, and, and, and that's a bit of the downside of this game, is that because there, there isn't much that you can do in terms of uh, resolution on this, I don't believe. I mean, I, I don't really know, but... There isn't like something I can click over here, so I don't know. Now, in terms of uh, passengers, I mean, wait, what? The hotel increases production. You don't say. <laughs> and and how many? And there's already 28 waiting. Huh. Okay. Well, that's nice. We are already surfacing that hotel. I love it. Next network that we need to hook up is basically uh, this one over here to this one. We could also go for this point to this. Well, that might be more convenient. Now again, over here, it seems as if there is only one line. But I'm pretty sure there isn't. I, w I wish there was like some mod that you can no, they're, they're definitely is. I wish there was some mod that would make these lines a bit more with a bit more options so you could actually see what's going on but uh, I, I don't think that's gonna happen anytime soon. right so I think from over here to over here is the most obvious choice um, and you know what? We could do that by playing. Because this is the new new Henningwell to uh, wait 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 you uh, we need to add front field to the fold. Now that's going to be difficult because I don't think front field is receiving anything. Is that right? I think that's right. Ooh, that's gonna be difficult. 
How do we add front field to to the grand scheme of things? I mean, in terms of ratings, this this is doing uh, rather okay. But I believe if you go to the authority, oh, we're not appalling anymore. We have been appalling with them. So I guess we basically need to wait quite a bit for them to like us. For us to be able to build anything else here um, that is uh, a station and the likes. So I guess the only real option we have for manning well it is, I guess, would be a station. And there, there lies the issue. Because these are the return tracks for the station. And these are the entry tracks for the station. Yeah, granted, they, to, to, to do something with the tracks over here isn't that difficult. But... You know, the, the, the way back... <laughs> you know, now that is a little bit more complicated. Do we have other options? Because all of a sudden, with front field in there is like a bit of an issue. I don't like that that much. So let's see if we have... I mean, how is... Oh yeah, that, that's the network we just created over here. You know, with, with the two trains. By the way, I, I, can't, I can't stress out enough how much I like this station over here with the entrance and that fits the roads over here just beautifully i mean this station over here is just such a good eye catcher i love it having said that we could uh, bring uh henning well into the fold by I mean, how, how is Henningwell doing? There are passengers being brought to this, to this station, right? But to where do they go? Is there a station over here where they go? I do not believe that to be the case, that that's just a highway. Crap, I did not want to do that. There is a station over here, I believe, but there seems to be no passenger traffic from this station to Hanningwell Woods. Which is interesting, to say the least. Hmm. It's a bit of a difficult one, this. I'm very, very much tempted to start using our new, uh, our new network uh, that we have created over here to get this accessible by train. Basically connect it up or build an airport here and also an airport here and have this be done by plane. Now, I know our current airplanes are not making any profit. But I think an area like that is wonderfully suited for an airport. Now, it says noise limit 3. What do we have? We can do small. Can we do large? Yeah, we can. But we have a noise limit of uh, hub airports. No. Helicopter airports, none. So we can either do small or we can do large. But the large one, it's not, it's not gonna go well with uh, Manning well, nor is it gonna go well with uh, Freston. But I did saw that, uh, well, oh, <laughs> the game does not like this. <laughs> but at the success chapter of the town growth program which I believe was over here like that had cross no is it Flondinghall yeah look Flondinghall has grown to such a capacity 
And it now has a noise limit of four. Same for Little Prior Town. So it, the noise limit grows over time as the towns grow. Now we were trying to connect it up over here. So I believe what we need to do is just do small uh, airfields to New Hanningwell and Manning. I think that's the only real option that we have. And I, and I just want to fiddle about with airports because the one that we do have is not uh, profitable. I want to see if I can get uh, another one with small airports. I want to see if I can get another one uh, that is profitable. So we're going to try this. If it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. You know. I hope, I hope that we can have this be still connected to Manningwell. Manningwell? Yes. Nice. All right. And then over here, I wanted to basically. Can I, if I can get this to connect to New Hanningwell Docks, we're also cool. Yes. Nice. By the way, just, just out of curiosity, how, how is the coverage here? You don't say, but apparently the whole freaking city is covered. <laughs> okay, that's nice. So... Let us now get ourselves um, a new aircraft. We haven't looked at this in ages. I wanna see. Ooh, I think we, we are currently with the ones that we are flying with these uh, Douglases. Or maybe even the Junkers, <laughs> I don't know. But we now have a Vicar Viscount, which is very reliable. <laughs> Almost one out of three flights. No, ex actually, exactly one out of three flights <laughs> just crashes. <laughs> uh, ooh, this has a way more passenger capacity. The Strato Cruiser. It has. It, it is just quicker, faster, bigger, and has a better range than this one. I do not understand why one would ever choose for this one over the Boeing Strato Cruiser. Now this is another one that no, is not as good. Same for you, it's not as good. Um, you with the Havilland Comet. Wow, you go, you go really, really fast. You can't go that far? You don't say! <laughs> Just as we're looking at it. Huh. Okay. So, and then there is the operating cost. Let, 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 let us have a, a proper look at this. So, the Strato Cruiser is end quick. No, come on game. I'm looking at this, not at trains. So this is, I mean, our helicopter that we just got is rather, uh, rather small. So I think the Strato Cruiser is pretty good when it comes to maximum speed. And I also want to have a look at the cargo. Oh, yeah. Now the Strato Cruiser is the way to go. We're going to get one. Uh, and you are currently, whoa. You can take everything. And then we can choose the company colored. And it can take both. All right. We're just going to go with the company colors. And uh, we'll have it go over there and there. And we'll see how it goes. Right. Nice, guys. We have airplanes. We have new airplanes. It's been quite a while since we last uh, got ourselves a new airplane. <laughs> now, admittedly, in the time of electricity and all that, it's a bit, uh, well, I don't know, you know, on a, on a field, 
<laughs> on a dirt strip. I mean, that's where we're running our Boeings. <laughs> Can you imagine that in modern times? <laughs> imagine Heathrow being <laughs> on a field of dirt. <laughs> um, just the sound. It is great. So, in theory, we have ourselves a connection over here with these airports. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, oh, just look at it. Just look at it. How, how good is it? I believe it will also have the range. I mean, I haven't counted tiles, but I believe this to be fairly you know, reachable with the airplane. Now, you have to keep in mind, I mean, it, it, it says it goes at 500 kilometers an hour. Six times faster than our trains are on average, but there is like this mod in this pack that has them go slower. So. But yeah, guys, we have just you know ju just now ju just to bear with this last stretch of uh, of works uh, that we uh, we put out there, we have effectively created a very very big passenger transportation network over here. We're going to try and see if we can somehow connect it up to the other big network and then do some balancing of passengers. But that and more all has to wait for next time when we play more OpenTTD.